Good day everyone and welcome. This is Mr. James Valfronda, Grade 8 Math Teacher. Today's video, I'm going to discuss when an expression be classified a polynomial and not a polynomial. So before that, we have polynomial. So it is defined as a special kind of expression where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of constants and variables raised to whole number exponents. Okay, so here are some examples. 10. So 10 is a polynomial. Okay, so we had a while back in the definition of polynomial that a constant can be classified as a polynomial. Next, we have 4x raised to 3 or 4x cubed. So this is a product of a constant, we have 4, and a variable which is raised to a whole number exponent. So you have 3. Okay, so 4x raised to 3 is a polynomial. Next, we have 5x raised to 3, y squared. So as you can see, nadagdagan lang ng variable y squared. But still, this is a product of a constant and variables raised to a whole number exponents. So take note that should that, that the exponents should be a whole number and of course it should be positive okay next you have 7 x raised to 5 y raised to 4 and then z raised to 3 so this one this expression is still a polynomial so as you can see we have positive exponents and all of the exponents also are whole numbers okay Next, we have 9x raised to 7 plus 4. So as you can see, this expression is a polynomial. Okay, so you have for the first term, that is 9x raised to 7. So the exponent is positive and it is a whole number. And then for the second term, it is a constant. So therefore, this one, this expression is a polynomial. Next, you have 3x raised to 3 plus 4x minus 6. So, you just need to check if the exponent is positive and of course, if it is a, or if it is a whole number. Okay, so it is a whole number and it is a positive one. So, yes, it is a polynomial. Next. You have negative 2x raised to 4 minus 3. So dito, baka uh, magtaka kayo, we have negative here, but negative is for 2 for the numerical coefficient. So but, ang titignan lang na, lagi should be the exponent. Okay, that should be positive. So in this example, 4 is positive and it is the whole number. So still, this one is a polynomial. Okay, next, you have 3 fourths x raised to 4 plus 12. So, for our numerical coefficient, it was in a fraction form. But take note that for our variable x, our, the exponent is still a whole number, and at the same time, it is a positive exponent. And then you have positive 12 or plus 12. So, therefore, this one is still a whole um still a polynomial okay so these are all examples of polynomials okay so when to say that a or that an expression is not a polynomial so here are the reasons why it is not a polynomial okay first when the variable is in the denominator so, is the need for diffraction? We have its um, primarily two parts: the numerator and the denominator. So, when an expression daw no is um, a fraction or it is in a fraction form, and then the variable is located 
in the denominator so we classified as uh, we classified the expression as a non polynomial okay so take note that the variable this is um, a letter a combination of a letter and a um, and an exponent okay so yeah, for example we have okay 5 over m so as you can see the variable is in the denominator so therefore this expression 5 over m is not a polynomial okay what else Fa a plus 6 over b so again you have so just look at the denominator you know plug lang titignan yung kanyang nasa baba kapag fraction yung ating expression so as you can see the variable it um is in the denominator so therefore this one is not a polynomial next we have p plus 3 over 5 q so again we have our variable q here so it is in the denominator so therefore it is not a polynomial okay. next we have x minus 2 over 7 y so same we have y variable here so in the denominator therefore it is not a polynomial okay next second reason when the exponent of the variable is not a whole number no or it is a negative exponent so for this one for this statement we have not a whole number so ibig sabihin nun kapag yung exponent daw ay hindi whole number. So, ano ba yung mga hindi whole number? Okay. Basically, ito yung mga fraction. Okay? And then, pangalawa, kapag yung exponent daw ay negative. Okay? okay. So, here are some examples. So, you have 4x raised to negative 5. So, as you can see, our exponent here is negative. So, therefore, it is not a polynomial. Next, 8x raised to 2 thirds. So you have our, um, our expression here. The exponent is in fraction form. It is not a whole number. So therefore, this expression is not a polynomial. Okay. Next, you have 3x raised to negative 8 plus 9 x raised to 4 minus 6. So, one of the terms, no, kung makikita natin, its exponent is negative. So, if one of the terms is not a whole number or it's a negative one, so this expression is classified as a non-polynomial. Okay. Next, and the last one, variable is under a radical sign. So what is all about radical sign? So let's have an example. So for this condition, take note it is the variable. So meaning variable is the letter or a, a letter with an exponent. So for example, we have 5 square root of x. So as you can see, our variable x is under a radical sign. So therefore, this expression is not a polynomial. Next, you have 7 square root of y plus 10. So again, square root of our variable is under a radical sign. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. And then lastly, we have 2 square root of x raised to 3 plus 10x. So again, our variable is under a radical sign, so therefore, it is not a polynomial. Okay, another example, we have 10x raised to 5 plus 6 square root of x raised to 5 minus 4. So our first term is a whole number and it's positive, but our second term is under a radical sign. No? Our variable is under a radical sign, so... And then we have the last term as a constant. So meaning, this expression or this entire expression is not a polynomial. Next. Okay, so, 
So let's have this activity. So I'm giving you 10, at least 10 seconds to max all non-polynomials. Okay? Yeah. 10 seconds. Okay. So for these expressions with which um are non polynomials. Okay. So can you check if you got it? So we have okay, first one we have four square root of m. Not because the variable m is under a radical sign. Next. Okay, so you have six square root of p minus q raised to three. So again, you have our variable under a radical sign. Next, you have h plus 7 over 4i. Reason, we have our variable under the denominator. Then next, you have 9m raised to 4 and raised to negative 6, then p raised to 2. So this is not a polynomial because one of the exponents of our variable is a negative exponent. Okay. And lastly, you have 2x raised to negative 3 plus 4x minus 6. So again, one of the exponents you have here as negative. So the rest, you have 129. So this one is a constant. So it is a variable. Uh, it is a polynomial. Sorry. Then 15a cubed b raised to 6. So you have the exponents, whole numbers. And then it is positive. Then you have here 3 over 7, x raised to 5, plus 2 over 3, x raised to 3. So it's just, um, this one is a polynomial. Then you have 3c raised to 4. Again, it's a polynomial. And lastly, you have negative 6, x raised to 3, plus 8. Okay? So I hope you get all correct answers. And for this... I hope that you learned something today and see you on the next video.